Hi, this is Justin Ball, the owner of the Showerhead store. And in this video, we're going to test the water from our tap, this Sprite showerhead filter, and a Crystal Quest showerhead filter in the other shower. We're gonna test for chlorine and lead using this health metric at home testing kit. You can see over here, we have our samples all lined up. This Test kit comes with a variety of tests. You got uh, one lead test kit, but I bought two because we're gonna be doing the lead on two water sources. One copper test, not gonna do that. One bacteria test, not doing that. And then two chlorine tests per box. Uh, so we have three samples, so we'll do three chlorine tests. And then they have two nitrate and uh, two three-way test uh, packets that test alkalinity, uh, total hardness and uh, chlorine. So uh, without any further ado, we can get into this. I bought, I bought this, it's made in the USA. There's a lot of faulty test kits out there. I got this on Amazon, seemed pretty credible, like a legit brand. Um, so we'll see uh, how this test goes. So the first one I'm gonna do is this lead test kit. Now I'm just gonna do one tap water and the Sprite filter. Um, so you open up this pouch and it's got this desiccant in here. And then, okay, it's got a little siphon there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, the first one is gonna be the tap water. So Squeeze out, squeeze in, and then is that enough? Let me just confirm. <laughs> uh, yeah, release the bulb, uh, then squeeze again to expel. Just says one pipette full of the vial. It does not does not look very very full in the. Uh, pick and it says not to uh, put too much water in. So just gonna put that down in there. Arrow pointing down and there's the tap water one. So just kind of move ahead here and we'll do the Sprite lead test kit. Perfect. Pull that up. Okay. And then see the arrows there pointing down. Just gonna put that right in there. And then we'll put that one right here, Sprite. Uh, let me check here on the time. Okay, 10 minutes from now. Okay, and then we have the chlorine test. Okay, we have uh, we're gonna do three of these. So just go ahead and tear this open. Okay. Now chlorine, that's the, the number one thing that you know people are really wanting to remove from their shower water. You're not drinking this water, hopefully. Uh, and that's what can dry out your skin and hair. So this is really important. So we'll see how uh, effective this is. Um, so just dip, dip this into the water. We'll start with the, the tap water and for five seconds back and forth. Okay. And then we're just gonna put that right there. Do the next one. This is the Crystal Quest. One, two, three. Okay, that's the Crystal Quest one. Okay. And then the very last one is gonna be the Sprite filter. We gotta. Okay. 
So, just confirm the last few seconds on the timer here. So if you could see right here, it's in parts per million, uh, looks like. So, I mean, you want ideally zero. Uh, 0 0.2, 1.0, 4.0 is the highest that you'd ever want. Um, and then and then there's 10, so. Uh, now, <laughs> we may have an issue here. Uh, what is the issue is, well, it says, note, in some waters, 0, 0.0 parts per million may appear more yellow. So on this one, we've elapsed 30 seconds. And yeah, I mean, well, what can I say? Oh, I'm sorry, missed a step. I'm supposed to fold this. Like that, but still. So we fold it and, and you know, it's more on this color spectrum than on this color spectrum. So it doesn't look like we have too much chlorine in our water here. Okay, um, or it's very low. So, okay, what are you gonna do? That's kind of a null test on that. Or the test kit doesn't work. So the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the 10 minutes to elapse on the lead test and see if there's uh, any sign of lead in one or the other. And we'll report back to you in just a second. All right, so 10 minutes has elapsed and we have our lead results. Um, actually, uh, if you come over here, we'll take out the one from the tap water. And it says it's negative if, uh, excuse me here the line that's closer to the one is darker than the one that's closer to the two. So if you can see here, the one line, really there's, it's a very faint line on the two. So that means that it's less than 15 parts per million. Doesn't mean that there is, it's absent of any lead, but any detectable lead on this uh, meter. Um, so negative on the tap. If both lines were dark solid or the line closer to the two was darker than the line closer to the one, uh, then you would have a positive result. So that's the tap water. And then, pretty yeah, same result, uh, same negative result on the uh, Sprite filter. Um, so just, yeah, nothing, nothing to report there. And actually I do have one surprise extra test. So let's jump into that right now. Okay, so we do have a pool, a uh, community pool here. So I went and got some pool water because our first round of chlorine tests proved that they don't use much chlorine here or mm. uh, So what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, let's just see how effective what this test looks like with pool water. Okay. I can already see it starting to change color if you come over here and just look at the other test. This is the, I don't know which one now, because <laughs> they all look the same, but you can already see that the pool water test is uh, turning greenish. Um, so they're not, killing you with, with uh, chlorine in that pool, but they do add some. Um, so we'll just wait a little bit longer. Count this down. Because actually I think maybe the backside is what we're supposed to be looking at here. I'm sorry, I'm doing this, uh, you know, I open the box as we, uh, and learning with you pretty much here, I read the instructions one. So they said fold it in half, didn't say, uh, Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we fold it this way, not with uh, that, so you get a clean clean look at the, the color. 
and uh, it's about 30 seconds that have passed. So yeah, this thing definitely detects chlorine. It wasn't that these were uh, void tests in any way. It just means that our tap water doesn't have any chlorine. Um, but uh, definitely a 1.0 uh, on the uh, parts per million scale for chlorine. So there you go. Health metric. Now we're testing the water just for chlorine and lead, absent of that in the tap water. We we're trying to see if there was a difference on the shower head filters, but since the tap water is pretty good, not much difference it's gonna make, but I still like to use the uh, filters anyway, because it can soften the water and everything else. So if you're curious to know what's going on in your drinking water or your shower water, Get a health metric test kit on Amazon, link down below. Really hope you liked that video. If you did, like, subscribe, and we hope to see you in the next video. I'm Justin Ball, the showerhead guy, signing off for now.